Alright, this is part 7 of the voltage divider tutorial. We are going to um, do some error rule checking and in this tutorial I'm only going to show you how to get warnings uh, because I can't figure out how to get an actual error yet. So that will probably be in the next tutorial but for now I'll show you how to get warnings um, by using the error rule check. So over on your left at the bottom of your toolbar look for the button that has a magnifying glass over a logic gate and I'm hovering over it right now it's called ERC error rule check the one next to it is errors which um, displays the errors what I've done in this um, circuit is I've deleted the wire from R1 to R2 <coughs> and I've also deleted the value from R2 so let's click ERC and see what kind of warnings or errors that we get. Okay, so there's zero errors, but there are four warnings. Let's go through the warnings. The first one is only one pin on net output. So the wire between R1 and R2 was the output wire, and since that's deleted, it messed up the net the wire net between pin 2 on our on our jumper over here and this wire between R1 and R2 um, and it says R2 has no value and then finally it says R1 and R2 have unconnected pins okay so it's pretty simple um, in this box you can click on one of these and it'll kind of direct you to where the error is. Double click on it and it'll take you straight to it. Like so. Um, to get rid of them, all we gotta do is put our circuit back to where it was. Let's draw this, this line first. Okay. Let's click ERC again. Now we only have two warnings. Uh, okay. I'm going to give this back the name output. Do you want to connect these? Yes, I do. And let's give a value to R2. Back to 10K. Then let's click ERC one more time segment of net output has no visual connection I think that means we need a label click the label button and voila click ERC again oh, it didn't pop up so um, that either means we have no warnings or errors which we shouldn't but just to check let's click the exclamation mark this yellow circle thingy and there you go. No errors, no warnings. And that's how you uh, check your warnings. And in the next tutorial, I will figure out how to get an error and show you how to fix that.